Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, nine uh, red dots uh, that divide uh, this uh, circle into nine uh, equal parts such that the center of this uh, circle is uh, O. And moreover, these codes uh, A, B and uh, C, D intersect each other at point uh, E. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, angle uh, AED that is uh, represented by angle X. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, angle uh, X and make sure that we are going to justify our answer. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concept we're going to be covering uh, in solving this given uh, problem. And now let's recall the central angle theorem. The angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference. And here's our example. Let's assume that this uh, green arc uh, makes an angle of 50 degrees at the center of this uh, circle where uh, this is uh, our center and just keep in mind that this uh, arc uh, angle and this uh, angle at the center have the same uh, value then uh, this angle is going to be at the circumference and moreover uh, this angle at the circumference is going to be half of uh, this angle uh, at the center and likewise this angle is going to be at the circumference uh, as well and this is going to be half uh, of this uh, angle at the center and now let's go over the exterior angle theorem the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram this uh, angle c is our exterior angle whereas uh, these angles a and uh, b are our opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, this angle c equal to a plus b and now let's recall the angle uh, around the circle. We know that the whole uh, revolution uh, around this uh, circle is uh, 360 degrees. That is also called uh, one cycle. And since uh, this circle has been divided into nine parts, so therefore I'm going to divide uh, this 360 degrees uh, divided by nine. So 360 divided by nine is going to give us uh, 40 degrees. So therefore, all uh, these uh, arc uh, segments are uh, 40 degrees uh, each uh, across uh, the board. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, these uh, two points uh, A and uh, C, as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, triangle uh, AEC. And now let's recall this uh, exterior angle theorem once again. According to this theorem, uh, this uh, angle X is going to be our exterior angle, whereas uh, these angles uh, are going to be our uh, opposite uh, interior angles. Let me go ahead and call uh, this angle as our angle alpha and this our angle uh, beta. And according to this uh, exterior angle theorem, this angle uh, x uh, must be equal to the sum of uh, these uh, two angles alpha plus beta let me go ahead and write down angle x uh, must be equal to alpha plus uh, beta and now our task is to find the value of angle alpha and the value of angle uh, beta as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, angle alpha is uh, at the circumference uh, for this uh, arc uh, AD and this uh, arc uh, AD is going to be 80 degrees because 40 plus 40 is going to give us 80 degrees and we know that the angle at the center is same as uh, arc uh, angle and since our arc angle is uh, 80 degrees so therefore our angle at the center is going to be 80 degrees and now let's recall the central angle theorem once again so the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference so therefore the angle at the circumference is going to be half of 80 that is going to be 40 degrees and this angle at the circumference is alpha so therefore alpha turns out to be 40 degrees 
and here's our next step we can see that this uh, angle uh, beta is at the circumference uh, for this uh, arc uh, BC now let's make an observation once again uh, this uh, arc BC angle is going to be 160 degrees because uh, sum of 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 is going to give us uh, 160 degrees and once again we know that the angle at the center is same as uh, the arc uh, angle so therefore our angle at the center is going to be 160 degrees and once again according to central angle theorem the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference so therefore the angle at the circumference is going to be half of that one that is going to be 80 degrees and we know our angle at the circumference is beta so therefore our beta angle value turns out to be 80 degrees and here's our final step uh, let's go ahead and calculate the angle uh, x now we know x equals to alpha plus beta so therefore x is going to be our alpha value is 40 degrees and beta value is 80 degrees so let's go ahead and write down 40 degrees plus uh, 80 degrees so therefore our angle x turns out to be 120 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 120 degrees thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye